All right, guys. Let's start on all fours. So come to all fours and close your eyes. And just have your shoulders over your wrists. Feel your hips stack over your knees. So with your eyes closed here, I want you to lengthen your tailbone towards the back of the room and then reach the crown of your head away from that space. So feel your torso, the length of your spine parallel to the floor. So just take a moment to ground in here. So exhale, just let all the air drift out of the body. So exhale all the way, open the mouth. And then we'll inhale for three counts without moving. So you're just filling the torso with breath. So inhale for three, two, one, like your torso is a balloon that you want to burst. Inhale all the way. And then open the mouth. Exhale. Just a few more times like that on your own. So inhaling, the spine is parallel to the floor. You're just finding more space for breath interiorly. So moving your shoulders and hips as far apart from one another as you can with your breathing. And then exhaling all the way. Good, two more. Just inhaling, sending the shoulders and hips apart from one another as you breathe in. Take in way more air than you think you can. Open the mouth, let it go. Last time, inhaling for three counts. Again, it's like your torso is a balloon. You want to fill it with your breath. This time, exhale through the nose if you can. So keep the lips sealed, long, slow, deliberate, three count out breath through the nose. And then we'll just gently add movements. You can keep your eyes closed or look at me. We'll inhale, we'll just come into an up cat. So collarbones back, heart forward, eyes closed. As you breathe out, round, down cat. So ripple through the spine, press into the knuckles, lengthen your tailbone towards the space between your knees. Good, two more like that, inhaling. Arching, pulling the navel up and in so your abdominals are engaged even as you're arched. And then pulling the navel up and in even more as you round down cat. And just flow through that two more times on your own. Just eyes closed, just connecting, lining up the breath and the shapes. Good. And then... Inhale, come to that neutral spine. So find the uh, spine parallel to the ceiling. Once again, lengthen the tailbone back. Reach the crown of the head forward as you glide the shoulders down the back. You're going to reach the right arm up. Mm, and exhale, thread it underneath the left shoulder so you're coming into a twist. Extend that left arm long and then press the left palm into the mat as you spiral chest towards ceiling. And then from there, if you like, you can re-bend the left elbow. So the elbow's directly above the wrist and then press into the left hand to twist a little deeper. Good, now imagine you had a block in between your thighs. Squeeze that imaginary block together towards so the thighs magnetize towards one another and lengthen your tailbone back. Good, one more big breath here. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, and then inhale, come back to all fours. Inhale, find that gentle up cat. Mm, exhale, down cat, round, really let the chin drop into the chest. Good, inhale, up cat. And this time exhale, just press back to downward facing dog. So you can keep your knees really bent for this first one. Extend all the fingers as far apart from one another as you can. Good, press down through your index finger knuckle and then just begin pedaling the legs. So just bending one knee and then the other. No rush. So the goal of this class is really just to find that three count in breath, filling up all the way. A little pause at the top of the inhale and three count out breath all the way, finding a pause at the bottom. All the other poses are just shapes, kind of optional. Good, inhale, I want you to yawn your right leg up and back. So lift the right leg, bend the knee, stack the hips. Good. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. So rock forward to plank pose. Good. Inhale, take the leg up and back. So imagine you're moving through honey or water. So your movements are um, like resisting the air. So you're slow and deliberate, knee to nose. Good. Inhale, take the right leg up and back. And this time, exhale, step the right foot between the hands, left knee to the mat, low lunge. So inhale, turn the palms to face out. Good, and then circle them down, around, and up. 
And breathe in. Close your eyes, send the biceps back, send the collarbones back. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Good, one more big breath, so really drink in breath. Mm, exhale, hands frame the foot. Listen carefully, curl the left toes under, step to the top of the mat so your feet are hip width apart. Inhale, flat back. So we press the hands into the shins, glide the shoulder blades down and back. Breathe out, bend the knees, fold. Two more times like that. Eyes closed if you can. Inhale your flat back. So feel the in-breath, create the length in the spine. Out breath, bend the knees, melt, fold forward. Breathing in, get long, hear your breath. Breathe out, melt. Good, keep the knees super deeply bent. Let the crown of the head drop towards the floor. So tuck the chin into the chest, bend the knees a lot. We're gonna do a super slow spinal roll up. So lengthen your tailbone towards your heels, round your low back and vertebra on vertebra stack. Good, mid-back, upper back, head is the last thing to come up. Good, find your chin parallel to the floor and then take your right forearm and hold your left elbow. Inhale, get long. Exhale, drop left ear to left shoulder. Good. Feet are hip width apart so you have a nice wide base. And then I want you to reclose the eyes but you can look at me if you need to. I want you to just really slow motion, take your chin up and then take the chin down. So you're just looking for a nice juicy stretch on the side of the neck. Press down through the soles of the feet, lengthen the tailbone down. It's no rush. Good. Nice. And your out breath, you're going to gaze down at the right hand. So see it. And then inhale, take it up and over. Big side stretch. And press the left hand into the left thigh. Notice if that left side is short or collapsing. Press down equally through both sides of the feet and then spiral chest to ceiling. That's it. Really reach. So super active pose. Big breath in. Breathe out. And keep reaching. Breathe in. Inflate the side ribs with breath. Good. Next inhale. Reach both arms up to the sky. Press down through the soles of the feet. Inhale. Breathe in. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, half lift, get long. As you breathe out, step your right foot to the back of the mat, right knee to the mat. Inhale, take the arms down, around and up. Spiral the palms out towards the sidewalls. And then inhale, squeeze the inner thighs together, biceps back, heart lifts, three breaths. Close your eyes, just hear your breathing. Last breath in. Good, on your out breath, exhale, hands frame the foot. So reversing what we did before, take the left leg high to the sky. Good, exhale, knee to nose, rock forward, plank, shoulders over wrists. Good, inhale, take the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Again, imagine you're moving through water so your movements are slow. Good, and then take the left leg high. Just bend the knee, stack the hips. Press down through both palms evenly. Maybe see if you can rotate your left shoulder so it's more square to the mat. Notice if it's hiked up. Last breath. Good, exhale, extend the left leg. Let it drop to meet the right. And then you can rock forward to plank, and you can go all the way to the floor and take cobra. Or if you're ready, you can take chaturanga, up dog, or skip it. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Good. And breathe in. And breathe out. Creating your own resistance, going slow on your next in-breath. Rock forward to your plank. Shoulders over wrists. Good. Pull your navel up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Your in breath. Rock forward. Plank. Your out breath. Downward facing dog. Good. And last time. Inhale. Plank. Just connecting breath and movement. Good. At the bottom of the exhale, your seat. 
is to the sky, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, rock forward to your plank now and hold. Line up the shoulders over the wrists. I want you to feel your inner and outer heel yearning towards the back of the room. So lift your thigh bones up, and then imagine your hip bones are yearning towards your chin. So there's almost like a slight rounding in your upper back as you hollow out your abs and pull them up towards the ceiling. We're here for three. Keep your breathing long and slow. Two. Amazing. Last breath. As you exhale, drop your knees to the floor. Inhale, come into an up pat. Mm. Exhale, down pat, round. Good. Again, inhale, up cat. You're kind of lost in your own movement if you can. Exhale, down pat, round. Good. Inhale, find a flat back. Come to that neutral spine. On your inhale, you'll reach the left arm up this time. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right for your twist. So you can extend the right arm and leave the right arm extended. If you do that though, I want you to really press into the palm like crazy to take you deeper into the twist. Or you can bend the right elbow, yeah, and prop it up so the elbow faces the ceiling. Maybe that helps you get more leverage, nice. Nice adjustment. Imagine that block in between the thighs. Squeeze it energetically and lengthen your tailbone back in space. Good, last two, last one, good, inhale, come on up, all fours, let your in-breath make a gentle up cat, collarbones back, exhale, down cat, round, really press the floor away, knuckles into the mat, good, inhale, up cat, exhale, downward facing dog, press it back, good, breathe in. As you breathe out, walk your hands to the back of the mat. So walk your hands to the back of the mat, to your back of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, get long. Exhale, fold. Let the maybe hands slide down the back of the calves. One more time, inhale, half lift. Glide the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Good, keep the knees super deeply bent. Let the chin come into the chest, crown of head faces directly down to the floor. We're gonna roll up again. So feel your navel pull in, tailbone lengthens towards the heels as we do our slow spinal roll ups. So you wanna round through the low back, round through the mid back, round through the upper back. Good, head is very last thing to come up. Feel the chin parallel to the floor. Take the left hand now and hold the right elbow. Inhale, get tall first. Feel length through the whole body. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder this time. Good, you can stay here, or you can make those gentle movements with the chin, just kind of reaching the chin up. Exhaling, taking it down. Just eyes closed, maybe you can sway side to side if that feels good. And just kind of working out what's going on in your neck. Yeah. And your next out breath, Look down at the left hand. So take your gaze down, look down, reach down. So you breathe in, reach it up and over. Big side stretch. Maybe press the right hand into the right thigh. And then stack left shoulder over right. Pull your navel in, lengthen the tailbone down. Breathe into your left side ribs here. So imagine they're like an accordion. You could breathe them apart, burst them with breath. Last two. Good, last one. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky on your in-breath. On your out-breath, swan dive forward. Breathe in, half lift, get long. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, walk forward to your plank pose and hold. We're going to spin to the outer edge of the left foot. Right hand's going to come to the sky for your side plank. Good, breathe in. Mm, breathe out. See if you can get your hips a little higher. Huge in breath. Exhale, reach the right arm towards the top of the room. So your body's maybe arcing, making that rainbow shape. Even if you have the knee on the ground, it'll still feel good. And then exhale, drop it down, plank. Mm, chaturanga. Or skip it. We'll all meet. Downward facing dog. 
Press down through the knuckles of the hands. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, just once. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands, runner's lunge. So left leg is long and extended. Press like crazy through the left heel. Feel your inner thighs scissor towards one another. And then option one, you can stay here with blocks. Option two, lengthen your fingertips alongside the hips. Imagine I'm pulling your fingertips down and back, gliding your shoulder blades down the back. Option three, clasp the hands behind the low back, make a fist. Option four, only if you want to go there, you take that fist down and back and open the chest. So any stopping point along this trajectory is good. Wherever you are, breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Good. Hear your breath. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. Last breath. Good. Last inhale. On the exhale, hands frame the foot. Keep the left hand down and reach the right arm up to the sky. Easy twist. Good. Huge breath in. Mm, huge breath out. Right hand drifts back down. Good. Kick the right leg high to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale. Knee to nose. Inhale. Up and back. Exhale. Knee to left elbow. So cross the body. Good. Inhale. Up and back. Exhale. Knee to right elbow. Go wide. Good. Inhale. Up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, cartwheel up, warrior two. Just looking for that heel to arch alignment, front heel, biceps, back arch. Good, once you're there, deep breath in. Awesome, exhale, flip the palms face up. Let the shoulder blades relax down the back. Good, inhale, as you breathe in, you're gonna straighten the front leg and reach the arms up overhead. As you breathe out, flip the palms face down, create your own resistance as you re-bend into that knee. Good. So you're inhaling, going slow. So think of like a dancer doing plies or like there was a TheraBand along your thigh. You want it to really articulate, create your own resistance here. Two more on your own. Your in-breath, maybe close the eyes. Your out-breath to press. Re-bend the knee. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, deepest warrior two, and hold. Good, inhale, reach forward to go back, reverse warrior. Big breath in. As you breathe out, elbow to knee or hand to the inside or outside of the foot, side angle. Good, so think of thrusting your hips now towards me. So it's like you wanted to thrust your hips towards me, but then send your upper body back in space to the right. So the hips are pushing towards the left, Upper body's falling back to the right. Three deep breaths here. Good. Nice. See if you can get that knee tracking over the second toe, so towards the pinky toe side of the foot. Nice. Last breath. Good. Inhale. Take it back. Reverse trigonasana. So you're going to reach all the way back, straighten the front leg. Good, huge breath, big toe to fingers, really feel it. And then exhale, triangle pose, bump the hips back, reach the right hand forward, and the right hand can come to your shin or to a block. Nice. So the paradox here is that your legs are super active, so press down through the toes and the heels, and then let the arches of your feet suck up the mat. So your kneecaps are lifted, thighs are engaged, then the upper body, is really soft. So see where you can bring more softness into the breath. Good, this looks so good. I wanna challenge you, think of knitting your front ribs together here. Yes, do you see how you can soften here? Now you're gonna find more length, keep softening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, last breath. So good. Inhale, come on up, find that warrior two with bent knees. Good, and then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the leg like we did before. This time, turn your front toes in to face the side wall. Good, and as you exhale, you can take your hands down alongside the body. Good, till they come to the hips. Inhale, half lift. Good, and then exhale, fold forward. Think of that long, flat back, fold forward. Good, 
Good, and then line up your fingertips and your toes. Good, really again, pull up through the legs. So toes and heels press into the mat, arches of the feet <laughs> suck up the mat. So I came and touched your thighs, they'd be crazy engaged. Good, let the head relax, crown of the head drops towards the floor. Nice, so we'll add some dynamic movement here, which is of course always optional. I'm gonna invite you on the in-breath to inhale, find a flat back. So the crown of the head is level with your tailbone, and then as you breathe out, just bend the elbows, melt the chest forward. Good. Inhale, find length. Exhale, think heart forward, collarbones back as you melt down. Legs are super strong and engaged this whole time. Good, last time. Inhale, get long. Exhale, melt. Good, keep the eyes closed if you can. Final breath here. Good, we're gonna bend the knees just slightly, just a super slight bend in the knees. We're gonna do our slow spinal roll up again here. So it feels a little different. It feels nicer, I think, almost with the feet wider, but you have to balance. So lengthen your tailbone towards the heels, slowly stack, vertebra on vertebra. Head is the last thing to come up. Once you're there, inhale, open the arms wide. Good, turn the front foot forward once again. Find that warrior two. Nice, reach forward to go back, reverse. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. All right, so you can always skip it. You can always take child's pose. So just modify as you need to. Mm, we'll all meet downward facing dog. Breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Good, breathe in. And breathe out, so bend your knees for me here, like really deep, yeah. And then do you feel this connection here? This is your down dog. It's okay to have the knees bent if you want a little bit. So you can you feel the length in the spine, right? It's like more, yeah, nice. Good, we'll slowly walk towards the top of the mat, no rush. Good, just walk it forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Breathe in, look up. Mm. Exhale, press the air away, get taller. Good, bring the toes to touch, heels to touch. Inhale, sink low, Utkatasana, chair pose. Good, breathe in. And breathe out, sink the seat a little lower. Good, breathe in. Take the right hand to your low back. Reach the left hand forward, find a flat back. So your spine is parallel to the floor. Really reach the left arm forward. And then let extension take you into rotation as you bring the left elbow to the right knee, hands to prayer, find your twist. So look down at your knees, see if they're in one line or if one is poking forward of the other. Good, nice. And I wanna challenge you to bend way more. I'm like, you do pop physique, I know you can do it. <laughs> Good, inhale, think length. Exhale, pull the navel in, twist deeper. Two more like that. Inhale, length, tailbone to crown of head. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Good, inhale, let this be a fun moment. You're gonna inhale, reach up, take the feet a little bit farther apart, breathe in, look up. Mm. Exhale, swan dive forward. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back, plank, chaturanga or skip it. So only jumping back if it's part of your regular practice. Good. Nice. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Walk the hands to the back of the mat now. So we're in a standing forward fold back of the mat. We'll inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend through the biceps so the fingertips are active as you reach the arms down, around, and up. Look up. Exhale, get taller as you press the air away. Good. Toes touch, heels touch. Breathe in, sink low. Utkatasana, chair pose. Good. So squeeze your inner thighs together and then see if you can feel your low back kind of rounding. So a lot of times we have like the Beyonce thing going on, right? You want to be the opposite of Beyonce. So pull your navel in. Think of kind of like, um, I hate to use the word tuck your pelvis, but it's like you want almost to feel like your low back is rounding in this position. Get a little lower. Pull your navel back into your spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Good, this time take the left hand to the low back. Reach the right arm forward. So find that flat back shape first. Tailbone to crown of head, long line of energy. Breathe in, reach like crazy with the right hand, and then take it into a twist. Right hand comes to outside of left knee, hands to prayer, and twist. Good, so bend the knees way deeper than you want to. Get low, good, and then think of length. Tailbone to crown of head, get long as you breathe in. Exhale, pull the navel back and in, twist deeper. Awesome, last two. Last one. On your in-breath, spring up, have your little moment here. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. As you breathe out, fold. As you breathe in, walk yourself forward to plank pose and hold. We'll take side plank, second side. So spin to the outer edge of the right foot, lift the left arm to the sky. You can always modify by having the knee on the ground. Awesome. Good, get the hips higher. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels even here. Breathe in. As you breathe out, maybe reach the left hand to the top of the room. So you're arcing the body, make that rainbow shape. Huge breath in. Good, and then exhale, plank. Chaturanga, or skip it, right, your choice. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Good, take the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Good, inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Come into that runner's lunge, so right knee is off the mat. Kick the right heel back, and lots of options. So maybe you just want to stay here and refine heel to crown of head, getting long. Maybe you want to go deeper and take the hands alongside the hips. Make sure that front knee is at a 90 degree angle over the ankle. Good. Maybe you want to go farther still and interlace the hands behind the low back. And maybe you want to take this into a full heart opener, pushing the arms up, or chest up towards the ceiling. Good, wherever you are, three breaths. So any of these places is good to be. Awesome. Last one. Good, final in breath. Exhale, hands, frame the foot. Keep the right hand down now and the left arm up. Easy twist. Breathe in. Breathe out, twist the heart a little more towards the ceiling. Last breath, breathe in. Breathe out, take the left hand down. Kick the left leg high to the sky, so three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, go slow. So you're coming all the way forward into plank when you do this motion, yeah, knee to nose, yeah. Good, inhale, up and back, you got it. Exhale, knee to right elbow, so shoulders line up over the wrists, oh yeah, good. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Good, inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, cartwheel up, warrior two. So second side, heel to arch alignment. Good, front heel bisects back arch. So take a moment to settle in. We're gonna be here a minute, so you can adjust your stance. And then turn the palms face up, melt the shoulder blades down the back. Find that knee at a 90 degree angle over the ankle, and then use your own resistance. So imagine the air is thick, you're gonna inhale. Reach up, straighten the front leg. Mm, exhale, resist to lower. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, create your own resistance as you come down. Good, your in-breath coming up. Your out-breath, deepest warrior two. Good, last one, inhale, length. Exhale, sinking to your deepest point. Good, keep the legs as they are. Reach forward to go back, reverse warrior. So make sure that front knee stays 90 degrees over the ankle. So you usually need to re-bend it a little bit. Good, breathe in. And then exhale, breathe out. Elbow to knee, hand to floor or block for your side angle. Good. So think of thrusting the hips towards me. Nice. And then sending the upper body back in space. That's really good. Yes. Awesome. Two more breaths. Last breath. Good, reverse triangle pose. So on your next in-breath, you're gonna reach back, straighten the front leg, so it should feel good. Big toe to middle finger, big reach. 
And then exhale, triangle. Maybe heel toe the back foot in, might make it more manageable. Bump the hips back, reach the left arm forward, and then the hand can come to the block or the shin, triangle pose. Awesome. And begin pulling up through your legs. Good, so this looks gorgeous, but if you wanna just feel it, put your hand on this block. Good, and then do you see how you can spin here and get more length? Yeah. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Good. Amazing. Think of softening those front ribs in, lengthening through the back body. Good. Last breath. Good. We'll rebend into warrior two. So come back into warrior two, maybe elongating the stance. Inhale. Exhale completely. Turn the palms up. Inhale. We're straightening both legs. Exhale. Turn the left toes in to face me. Exhale. Hands come alongside the body. Good. This time, option to take your hands behind you and interlace them in a little fist. See if you can get the heels of the hands touching. Inhale, draw that fist down and back. Open the chest. Good. And then exhale, fold forward. Nice. Good. Let the head go. Let the neck go. Good. And now, take your shoulder blades and draw them away from your ears towards your seat. Send your knuckles towards the ceiling first and then forward towards the floor. Begin pulling up through your legs. So again, think of toes and heels in the floor, but the arches of the foot sucking up. Good, and then if you wanna let go of the bind, you can take the hands to the floor or keep it, whichever you like. And then in the forward fold, see if you can pigeon toe for me. So take your toes in and your heels out so you feel like pigeon toed. And then look for a nice stretch on the outer shins. Good. And you can hold the big toes with your peace fingers and fold forward. You can just hold opposite elbows and sway from side to side. So really whatever feels good for you here. Good. And the last breath. Nice. And then We'll gently bend the knees. Let the head be heavy like a bowling ball. We'll do our final slow spinal roll up, so let it be really juicy. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. Stack vertebra on vertebra. Head is the last thing to come up. Good, and then inhale, take the arms parallel to the floor, open them wide, strong. Turn the left toes forward. Bend into the left knee, find that warrior two shape. Reach forward to go back, reverse. And let that be your transition down. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Good, and your choice to step back. Plank, chaturanga, or you can go to child's pose, or you can skip it. Good. Nice, inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Good, inhale up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands, coming into a high lunge. So high lunge, inhale, reach the arms up. Good, breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Good, breathe in. Mm, breathe out. So find the cadence of your breath. On your next exhale, I want you to drop the right hand to your hip. Squeeze your inner thighs together. If you want, you can stay here. Otherwise, if you want to move on with me, I want you to reach the left arm towards the right side of the room. So you're looking for a big side stretch here. Squeeze the inner thighs together. We're here for three, for two. Hear your breathing. Last one. Exhale, listen carefully. We're just gonna gently, super slow motion, drop the left knee to the mat. Go so slow. And you can take that right hand to a block or the floor and keep reaching. So that left arm continues to reach to the right. Huge stretch. Breathe into your left side ribs. Big breath. Awesome. And then exhale. Let the left shoulder round down. Take the hands to the inside of the foot. You're going to heel toe the right foot. So the toes are off the mat, but the heel is on the mat at a 45 degree angle, and you're in your lizard pose. Good. You can press both hands onto the floor and kind of rock from side to side. So you should feel this in your groin and in your hip. And if you have the range of motion and you want to go deeper, you can take the elbows to the floor. So just see where your body wants to go. One variation isn't, you know, better than the other. Good. Last two breaths. Mm. 
Maybe rock side to side. Good, and then slowly press yourself up. Listen carefully. Come onto the left knee a little bit. You're gonna heel toe the right foot over to the left side of the mat. So just walk it over, and you're gonna drop the knee down so you're set up for your pigeon pose. So press down into the floor, and then take your left hip forward and your right hip back. So your hips like headlights are square to the front of the room. You can open the palms, inhale, breathe in. Mm, exhale, fold forward. Really nice pose to have a block underneath the head here. And just hear your breath. And if you don't feel a stretch in your hip, definitely feel free to call me over. Try to find that deep breathing of the three count, inhale, three count, exhale. Last breath. Really gently take your arms underneath your shoulders. Curl the left toes underneath you. Kick back to three-legged dog. And totally optional if you want to flip your dog here, you can if you've done that before. Otherwise, just come to downward facing dog. And you can just hold and we'll all meet here. Awesome, you guys. So get the hips higher. Good. And then pull the navel in to come back around. Super mindful. Your choice, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. Really nice. And take the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Good, inhale up and back. Exhale, left foot between the palms. Come into that high lunge as you're ready. Inhale, come on up. Good, just get quiet here and begin to notice the cadence of the breath. So maybe close your eyes, find when the inhale is happening, when the exhale is happening. Eyes closed, really press that right heel back. See if you can get that back right leg stick straight. Good, on the cadence of your exhale, you're gonna take your left hand to your left hip. Option one, just stay here. Option two, reach the right arm up and over. Big side stretch. Good, and draw the right shoulder blade down the back. We're here for three. And let your breath fill the right side body, two. Last one, slowly bend the right knee with control all the way to the floor and then keep reaching. Left hand to floor or block, just let it feel good. Reach, maybe lean the upper body back in space. And two more breaths like this. Good. And then let your right shoulder round down. So you kind of round and bow down, take the hands to the inside of the left foot, setting up for your lizard pose. So the left foot will heel toe first to the outside of the mat. So the heels on the mat, toes are off the mat. Little gentle rocking side to side here, up on the palms or down on the elbows, wherever serves you. And if you're somewhere in between, you can use the block to sort of make that in between level for you. Last two breaths. And slowly press yourself up. Good. Lean back a little bit and then heel toe the left foot all the way across the mat. And then set the left knee down. Press the hands on either side of the hip. So you really want to think of pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward so your little hips are like headlights towards the front of the room. And then just open the palms. Little gesture of surrender. Inhale. Take in a lot of breath. And exhale, fold. Forehead to block or floor for your pigeon pose. Last two breaths. Relax the shoulders and jaw. Good. 
final breath. And curl the back toes under, take the hands underneath the shoulders, kick the left leg high to the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips, and you can just hold here or hold in down dog, or only if you want to, you can drop the foot and come into that um, flipping of your dog, really getting the hips high. You got it. That's it. Yes. All ten toes point back. Hips higher. Yes. Last breath. Good, and then feel the return. Initiate from your core. So you're going to pull the navel in. That's what's going to let you come back to down dog, flow through chaturanga, or skip it. Amazing. And gently rock forward to plank. And we'll hold. Feel the inner and outer heels reach back. Feel the shoulders glide down your back. Sternum forward. We're here for three. Draw your abs away from the mat. Two. Last one. Exhale. Knees to the floor. Lean off to the left. Just lengthen your um, legs in front of you. You can keep the knees bent if you're kind of just still working on your flexibility. If you know that you can do it straight, that's fine. I often like to keep them bent. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale from your core, find that long spine, and fold forward. Good. So if you keep the knees bent, it's a really lovely low back stretch. If you really want to straighten the legs, obviously that's going to take it more into the hamstrings. So just see where you want to go today. And then make sure you're flexing with both sides of your feet. So you're flexing equally with the big toe and little toe side of the foot. your breath, soften your eyes, soften the jaw and the face, but the legs are really engaged, actively flex. It's like your heels, like they're grazing off the mat. Your thigh bones are pressing down into the floor. Good, last breath. Mm, gently come on up. Good, head is the last thing to come up. Take the soles of the feet to the floor. Reach the arms forward, keeping the spine long, just lean back. Imagine there's a string from between your collarbones to the ceiling. Pull your abs in towards your spine and back. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Press your toes into the mat. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Good, last breath here. And then as you exhale, I want you to imagine someone punch the area right between your navel and pubic bone really slowly. We're going to lower down one vertebra at a time. Just round down. Take your time so the head is on the mat. Good. And then from there, you'll gently extend the legs. Take any little final stretch you need. Reach the arms up overhead or make any adjustments so you're just comfortable. And then take the palms face up alongside the body. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Once again, deep breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> Let your body rest on the floor. Shavasana.
slowly begin to deepen the breath. Wiggle fingers and toes. Draw one knee into the chest, so moving the legs one at a time to protect the low back, and then drawing the other knee into the chest, just giving yourself a squeeze. And if you don't have anywhere you need to be, you can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. If you're moving on, just roll to your right side. You can use your right forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat. Just take a solid deep breath here. And then slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, so cross-legged. Keep the eyes closed and your attention in. Head is the last thing to come up. And take the backs of the hands to the knees. Turn the palms face up. Index finger and thumb touch. Good. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Lean your upper body back in space. So feel the crown of your head line up directly above your two sitting bones. Good. Breathe in. Exhale. Glide your shoulders down and back. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, take your collarbones back in space. Breathe in. Exhale, just get taller. Your chin parallel to the floor. Just take a moment to be fully present. And then bring the palms to touch in front of the heart, keeping the eyes closed. Just press the palms together. Gesture of gratitude for making time to come to your practice. Move your body. If you like, you can bring the thumbs to your third eye. Space between the eyebrows. And then exhale. Just bow forward. If you like, you can say namaste. Namaste. If you did this class with me at home, please be sure to let me know how it went in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That always helps me out so much. And absolutely, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's the number one way you can help support me and free yoga online. From my heart to yours, namaste.